Welcome, everybody, to the spooky side of games. Video games are about making the impossible a reality. That's why we have amazing games like Skyrim and Fallout. But what if the subject matter borderlines reality? Well, that's just what Grand Theft Auto V does. Sure, the game is plenty silly, but it also keeps in touch with the real world, and how it works. That only adds to the creepiness when something paranormal is found in the world of Los Santos. High above the ocean, in the beautiful mountains of Los Santos, lies a not-so-beautiful secret. If you come to the ridge of Mount Gordo near the lighthouse in between 23 and 0 hours, you'll find a rather disturbing easter egg. On the rocks sits a disfigured ghost. This ghostly apparition sits there, silently staring back at you. Now, you more than likely already know this easter egg, but there's another part to it that you might not. Down at the base of Mount Gordo lies a campsite. Enter it between 23 and 0 hours to hear some utterly terrifying sounds. Now, if Rockstar could be summed up in one word, it'd be detailed. That's why they've included an article in their in-game search engine that just so happens to tell the disturbing story of one Jolene Cranley Evans. Tragedy at the Cliffs It was an accident, claims heartbroken husband. A young husband was made a widower yesterday in an incident at the Cliffs in eastern Blaine County. John Jock Cranley, 26, and his wife Jolene Cranley Evans, 22, were walking by the cliffs overlooking the El Gordo Lighthouse when a dispute ended in Miss Cranley falling to her death. Mr. Cranley and his wife, both of Sandy Shores, had been known to be having troubles in their marriage. Mr. Cranley apparently wanted to leave Blaine County and move down to Los Santos to pursue dreams of being a stuntman while his wife was keen to stay and help look after her ailing parents and run their thriving guest house. Mr. Cranley told reporters outside the police station where he had been released without charge, I'm heartbroken. I loved my wife. I would never throw her off a cliff, despite her desire to destroy my dreams of success and happiness. I will miss her always and dedicate my career to her memory. His wife's father, Jeb Evans, called for police to open a proper investigation. We will stay with this story. 
Well, looks like this Jock Cranley guy was a real jerk. A jerk who just so happens to be running for mayor. Thanks for watching this episode of the Spooky Side of Games. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like and maybe even subscribe for more spooky content. Stay spooky. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Wow. Show me. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. This man has no dick.